Hey everybody, it is finally getting warm. It is 68 degrees right now, or 65 degrees, but it's just warm. So I figure I will clean up the balcony to get ready for the spring. I was going to graduate this container because it was falling apart. You can see the this plastic part was just falling, crumbling from the sun. But I found something interesting so I think I'm going to keep it for another year. I had Jerusalem artichoke growing in here. I harvested it once and then winter hit and froze. So I figured everything's dead. Um, and I was digging around and look what I found. This bucket was frozen all winter. And look what I found. It looks like a nice little artichoke. But you can see the shoots are already starting to form. So I think I'm going to put it back in the ground. This one is also starting to sprout. So I found two of these. And I think I'm going to keep digging. Here's a little one. Oh, wow. Whoa. Check that out. So there's a ton in here, I think. Maybe I'll eat this one. This is edible. So here's what I got. There's quite a bit in there. I'm gonna put these back in the container and the rest we'll have for dinner or something today. Hopefully they still taste good. Now that the Jerusalem artichoke are in there, I'm gonna plant some um, arugula seeds too. So for that, I just sort of sprinkle it around. And this has worked for me in the past, just randomly sprinkling. I just sort of scrub it in, put a little bit of soil on top of it. I leave these grids here because the squirrels get into them. That should be good. So here are the Jerusalem artichoke washed up. Um, and I think they look good. I tasted it. They taste fine. So I will have these for dinner. The one thing about Jerusalem artichoke is that they don't last very long in the fridge. So I have to eat them today. But I have no problems with that. They're delicious. Um, I like them raw. Um, I've cooked them and they're okay, but they take on a different taste. But very lovely. So... I wasn't going to grow this this year, but it looks like I will be.